But I know my wife loves me. Not too long ago, I had to get out of bed, got dressed. She goes, where are you going? I said, oh, I got my yearly physical today. She goes, oh, I'll go with you. I said, like, okay. How boring is your day? I, mean, I wouldn't go with her to her physical. <laughs> Seen it. <laughs> <laughs> not like we're going to break any new ground there. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to go, wow, doc, what is that? But she was in the room when the doctor told me my cholesterol's getting high. I'm like, good going, doc. Hell, it would have been easier if he just told her I was cheating on her. <laughs> yeah, if he tells her I'm cheating on her, I just got to take some garbage. <laughs> now I got to eat a bunch of it. He told me to cut out bacon, which sucks, because I love pig. So my wife, trying to be helpful, goes to the grocery store and buys this stuff called soy bacon. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. I know soybeans are good for a lot of things. Let's stay out of the bacon market. They go, looks and tastes like real bacon. No, it doesn't. Tastes like somebody bacon flavored a turd. That's what it tastes like. She's all worried about my stress. She goes, you got too much stress. Like, oh, I don't have any stress. She goes, Bill, you almost got kicked off an airplane. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> well, here's what happened. I got on this airline. It was an early morning flight. And they board us, and I sit in my seat, and I pull out my Game Boy and start playing it while they're still boarding. You know, I know. God forbid I read a newspaper or Time magazine. <laughs> I got to get Scooter to level nine. <laughs> but I'm minding my own business, playing my Game Boy. The pilot comes on and makes this announcement. He goes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be a little delayed this morning. They didn't put enough gas in the plane. Why would you make that announcement? Make something up. Tell me you ate a piece of bad fish and you got the runs. Tell me something. Don't tell me we don't got enough gas in the plane. That's like number two on the checklist for it's okay to take off. Keys, gas. Because see, the way the process works in my little brain is the gas truck pulls up next to the plane, the pilot sticks his head out the window and goes, fill her up. <laughs> yeah, I get the one pilot in America. We're going to Vegas. Give me five bucks. We'll be all right. <laughs> so I know we're going to be delayed. Nothing I can do about it. So I keep playing my Game Boy. Flight attendant walks by me, and y'all, I might as well have been building a plutonium bomb. <laughs> she flips. She goes, sir, sir, you need to shut that off right now. I'm 48 years old. All of a sudden, now I'm six. <laughs> but, 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 but if I shut it off, the scooter will die and I'll have to go back to level one. <laughs> and then she said it. She goes, sir, do you know where the on-off switch is? <laughs> I said, ma'am, when I got up this morning, I didn't want to be a jackass. <laughs> you just pushed my jackass button. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I know where the on-off switch is. You know where the gas cap is? <laughs> And you know, a body cavity search isn't that bad if you just relax. 